Well, good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you may be, my YouTube friends. Yes, I have a thrift haul video for you today. Um, this is going to be a, this is a two-visit Salvation Army haul and a Goodwill thrift haul. Now, um, this haul consists of the beautiful solid wood kitchen table and chairs that I purchased when I went to the Salvation Army. Um, I did share a picture of it on um, Instagram and I will insert a picture of it for you here so you can see it. Now, um, so on that day, um, I bought a bunch of items and then the following um, day, I went back to pick up the table and chairs. My son-in-law um, came with his truck. So while I was waiting for him, I shopped some more, <laughs> you know, and bought some more stuff. So I will show you that as well. Uh, and Goodwill, I really didn't get very much, but what I did get, I was, I was very happy to find. So I think what I'll do is I will do, uh, show you the Goodwill stuff first, pause the camera, get it off the table because I have a ton of Salvation Army stuff over here and I don't want anything tipping over and breaking. So that way I'll have room to put it, you know, as I show you. So that's the plan, folks. Enjoy your cup of whatever you might have. I'm going to partake in some more of my coffee. It's only about 10 a.m. here in New York State. And um, it's my day off of babysitting. So I have a ton of stuff to catch up on today. Oh, I should have drank a whole pot of coffee today because <laughs> I need it. I need it. Okay, my friends, let's get into this haul. So, um, Goodwill, uh, this was um, Tuesday, of course, Senior Tuesday. I spent a total of $63 and I saved $19.25. $63. All right, and I did find some really cool stuff, so I was pretty happy with what I found. First off, I found this gorgeous cruet. Look at this beautiful cruet. Isn't that, oh, I just love it. Now, it is broken on the stopper, as you can see. I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. <laughs> but... It doesn't, you know, um, impede on how it works, so to speak. So it, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous cruet. So that's item number one. Item number two, and I don't come across pink milk glass very often. And this is beautiful. Look at this pink milk glass covered dish with the butterfly handle. Oh boy. Isn't this a beauty? Holy cow. Here's the inside. No chips, cracks, or flea bites anywhere on this. And look at how beautiful. They even impressed a flower design on the inside of the lid. Oh my goodness. Now, it is not marked. I'm thinking it could be Westmoreland, but I'm not I'm not sure. I would have to look it up. But I love pink milk glass. I think it's so beautiful. So I was very surprised to see this on the shelf. And boy, did I snatch it up. <laughs> um, 
These I don't find often either. I do occasionally, and I was able to find two of them. Look at these. These are um, Japan Chadwick. Look at these vintage Santa head little trinket dishes or whatever you want to call them. Now you can see this one has more blue. This one has a little bit of paint loss on that blue color. But how cute are those? And you know, I love me some vintage Christmas. Absolutely. It is my favorite and vintage Halloween, but, but you never can find it anymore unless you want to go on eBay and spend like hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Then I found, now this is gorgeous and um, I had to re-glue the um, handle back on, so I'm not going to, I will hold it like this. Look at this gorgeous jar. I don't know if it, I'm sure it had a lid at some point, um, but it's really dirty on the inside, so I think somebody used it as a planter. Um, it's not marked. All it has is the number 15 on the bottom. Um, so I, I, I glued this, but I think I'm going to have to do it again. I need to glue it differently um, because this does come off. It's very old. There's the other side. And I just think this is stunning. Love this piece. Yes. Equally as cute, let me just say it's cute, is uh, somebody's ceramic project. <laughs> so it is a Santa boot, as you can see. Look at, look at the little mouse butt cheeks. <laughs> How cute is this? It's a big boot too, and it's got a handle. I mean, you could hang it. How stinking cute is this? Oh my goodness. Now, they did initial it. It looks like it's M-Y, but they didn't date it. I fell right in love with this. Oh my gosh, I love it. Something was inside and fell out when I, oh, when I moved it. Hang on, guys. Oh, and look, here's the, <laughs> there's the mouse's head whose butt is sticking out. <laughs> oh my God, that is so cute. Oh dear. That's awesome. Uh, okay, and then I'm trying to... <laughs> okay, let me bring... All right, hold on, guys. I'm going to slide this over here out of my way a minute. Okay, then I found two pieces of uh, false graph winterberry. Love this pattern. I say it every time. I got this gorgeous cup, rise and shine, it's Christmas time. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. And I found this beautiful bowl and it says Merry Everything on the inside. Yes. Love, love this. All right. Then I found this uh, wood cigar box um, for crafting with. You know, I'm going to upcycle it. Make it into something beautiful. I will sand, you know. I have to get my... Um, what is that? 
my uh, sander, my electric sander, and uh, because this would take me all day trying to do it by hand. So I got that, that's for an upcycle. And this is also for me, um, I needed another photo album. So I got this one. Look how pretty that is. It says photos on the front. And it's got lots and lots of pages. So that's for me as well. All right, let me set that back over here so I can get, okay, so this next piece, I took a chance with it and I did pay up for it. I know a, a mechanic or someone would probably want this piece. It is a, uh, a craftsman and it comes in its, in its case. It is one of these super long, um, I guess, uh, what do they call these kind of wrenches? Not torque wrenches. Um, oh my gosh. I can't think <laughs> what else is new. Um, but I thought I would grab it anyway and uh, resell it. Mm -mm. Somebody leave it in the comments for me because I can't stink and remember. But anyway, so I got that. Uh, one more sip and I will show you. I got three more items from Goodwill. Let me move these because these are from Salvation Army. I'm going to set this on the floor for a minute, guys. Please pardon my blank screen for a second. Okay. I got this. Oh, my God, y'all. I love this piece. This is a gorgeous vintage uh, mirrored dresser tray. I wish this would have been in blue glass. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this, love it. Look, I got my pot over there on the stove. I'm about to make some sauce, some spaghetti sauce. Yes, that's one of my, my chores on my list for today. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I love it. I might keep it, I don't know. And then look at this gorgeous picture, guys. Look, it's needlepoint. I'm pretty sure it's needlepoint. Look at this. Framed by Babs Petite Paint Gift Shop in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Oh my, here's the back. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh boy, I was not leaving that behind, heck, heck no. All right, and the last item this is just beautiful. Hopefully I don't drop it. Look at that, cobalt blue. Look at this candy jar, a candy jar. It's got three little clear glass feet. A beautiful clear glass handle, no cracks, no chips, and no flea bites. Holy cow. This is my favorite item. I love it. It's just, it's a stunner. That's all I could say. So, 
All right, so that was everything for $63 at Goodwill. So I'm just going to pause the camera for a sec and um, clear this stuff away, and then I will be back to finish the thrift haul. Alrighty, we are back for the Salvation Army parts of this thrift haul. So when I originally went and I purchased the uh, table and chairs, I spent a total of $138.82. Now the table and chairs were $60. And oh my God, what a beautiful table and, and chairs they are. So $60 of that was for the table and chairs. Um, then when I went back the next day, I bought some additional stuff. $9.84 and then an additional $28.33. Yeah, so whatever. <laughs> so what did I get? Okay, I'm going to start with the two things that are sitting on this chair behind me. This I got. For my, you know, my uh, ocean loving people, uh, I'm an ocean lover, but I don't live by the ocean, unfortunately, but I do have many people that live in Florida and places like that, and uh, that is why I picked this clock up, and it works perfectly. It's keeping perfect time, and I just love it. So I got that and I got this beautiful chalkware piece. Let me show it to you first. Now, the sad story about this piece is it was in perfect shape when I purchased it. I had it in a bag with some other items in my back seat. And when I turned the corner, the bag tipped and the top of it broke right off. So I glued it with this amazing glue um, that I have. Um, you could see I filled it in. I filled the crack in with some air dry clay. That's where it cracked. Um, but really... It doesn't look bad. I mean, I have to what I have to wash that off. That's some of that air dry clay, and I could probably. I mean, this is a stunning piece, you guys. Nobody's gonna notice that hanging up on the wall. They're really not gonna notice that. I was so upset, but I love this. And I'll tell you what, if nobody buys it, I'm keeping it and I will hang it in my bedroom. I absolutely love this piece. So I got those two items. Oh, I was so upset. I, I was swearing like a sailor. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I bought this just because I think it's absolutely beautiful and it's missing its teacup, but I didn't care. It would be a beautiful decor piece. It's left in, hand painted. Look at the colors in this little saucer. How pretty is that? That would make a, a beautiful um, decor item. Propped up on a shelf. I also got this pretty uh, sugar dish, sugar bowl. It has the, you know, the flashed on cranberry. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. I wish I could have found the creamer, but no dice. And you know, you could always use this to put little sugar packets or something in. Very pretty. I got this, um, I'm sure it had a lid at some point, I'm thinking, but um, now, unfortunately, it does not glow. But 
it is a beautiful bowl nonetheless. You could put anything your heart desires in this. And there's no, no flea bites, no chips, no cracks. It is beautiful. I love it. Okay. I found two willow tree figurines. Um, this one is called Angel of the Heart. And this one is called Good the Good Health Angel. So I grabbed those. Also in this haul, y'all, <laughs> included was that amazing Diamond Point Vaseline Glass Vase um, that I sold in my uh, live sale this past Saturday. Um, I will insert a picture of it here for you. Um, I pulled it out of this stuff uh, for my sale. Okay, then I picked up this. This is awesome. I love this. This is, um, hold on. Paul Silver, no, Pool. Pool Silver Company. Look at the patina on that. I wonder what that would look like. I don't know. I think it's probably uh, silver plated. I don't know. But it's pretty cool and I liked it so I grabbed it. I think this would be a great piece to put out at Halloween. Purple candle in there. You're all set. Um, then I got this glass. Um, this is the um, Anchor Hocking. They call it Roly Poly, um, but there's another name for it. Lido Murano or something. Um, I do have a couple glasses like this already. So I have kind of like a little collection of them. So this is for me. I just, I like them. I think they're so cute. <laughs> All right. Then I got this little... Um, galvanized watering can to do an upcycle with. So, yeah, cute. It's going to be even cuter when I'm done. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I also got this. I think this is so cool. Now, I don't know if this is for a candle or what exactly this is, but I love, I love wood. Um, but look, it almost looks like a, a chalice, you know? I just think this is the coolest thing ever. I love it. I got this. This is um, the Burwood Company, MCMXCV. Plastic. I just, I thought it was so cool. So I got that. I love these old pieces. I got this little wooden heart for myself. I'm just going to do something with it. I don't know what, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> I found another one of these beautiful Last Rites crosses. Um, however, it doesn't have its candles or holy water or anything inside. But what you would do is, um, this would sit here. And then, wait a minute. Yeah. And then you would put, um, your two candles in the holes. But, yeah, so... I picked that up. I always buy these when I see them. I 
I don't want to scratch my table. I think I'm going to end up, I might put a tablecloth on here because I don't want it to get scratched or anything. Then I got these for mommy. I got her these pretty little blue deer foam uh, slippers, brand new in the box. They were originally uh, 20 bucks. I don't remember what I paid for them, but yeah. So those are for mom. Hopefully they're not too big. Six and a half to a seven and a half. I'll bet. And she, in the winter time, she wears those fuzzy socks. So that should, that should help for them to not be too big. So those are for mom. I'll put those over here. Uh, then I got this beautiful candle wick uh, pedestal bowl. How pretty is this? It reminds me of a little bird bath. Could you see this with some of those colored, um, those pretty glass colored stones in here with some water? Oh, that would be so pretty. I thought it was gorgeous. I love candle wick. I don't know why I just do. Um, I did buy, these are for me, um, these uh, letter and number stamps. I got two of them. So those are for me. <laughs> Put those over there. Okay, this is absolutely stinking adorable. Dear God, please shower all your love on this Christmas for my very special friend. Isn't that adorable? I had to get that. I know somebody would love this for one of their friends. How cute is it? This is from 1983. Intercontinental Anesco. Here's the back. Oh my God, that is just adorable. Um, I bought all of these pumpkins. <laughs> these are the larger ones. And I thought these would be really cute. Um, I could sell them or I could um, do giveaways with these. I probably will do giveaways with them. I just think they're adorable. There's 22 of them. So I got those. Then I got this. Look how cute this is. It's a, a key rack. And then I think you could probably put mail or something in there if you wanted to or a little plant, whatever. Um, but I think I'm going to do something with it. I don't think I'm going to leave it um, regular. It depends if somebody would like it the way it is. So if somebody likes it as it is, that's perfectly fine. I will sell it as is. If not, it's getting um, a makeover. <laughs> All right, then I found this vintage purse and I do have to clean it. It has uh, sticky residue on it. Um, look at this purse, you guys, in this beautiful uh, light pink color. It is genuine leather lined. It is in phenomenal condition. Here's the other side. Look at this purse. How cool is this? Oh my gosh. Nobody's been wanting to purchase my vintage purses. So I'm thinking I might put those on my Mercari. I have quite a few. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Then I got this. This is, oh my God, so cute. This is a six foot Easter garland. 
Look at how cute this is. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, I love it. I um I have these little um these little birds that are this same material. It's like um that felt I um I can't remember what they call it. Um, but that actually match these little eggs. So I might keep these for decorating back here for Easter. I didn't do any decorating this past year, but I may do it, you know, this coming, this coming, uh, year for Easter. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Or what I might do is just get rid of the Easter I have and sell those little birds, you know, to go with this. I don't know yet. I haven't figured it out. Um, I got this beautiful, this is a brand new purse. And it's, look at the color of this purse. It is a beautiful, it's a cross between a mint green it's that green crayon in the Crayola box, and I can't remember what the name of the color is. But this is brand new, y'all, and it's made by, this is the company. And I looked it up, and they do sell for quite a decent price. So I got it. I mean, it's beautiful. It was never used. Never used, and what a beautiful color. So I got that. Um, I'll put that over here. And, um, oh, let me show you these. Because they're on the floor. And if I don't show them now, because I just looked at them, I will forget. Now, these are um, card making kits. One of them, I don't really think they even used anything out of it. Um, which would be... This one, I think. These are Anna Griffin uh, with Love Shutter Card Making Kit. Makes 20 unique cards. And in the box, it comes with all the stuff to make like these, um, these card designs. So these are like Valentine's cards. And it has all of these beautiful items in here. This is some two-sided um, tape, I think. And then it's got these little um, little squares uh, to uh, make uh, make them look 3D. Um, it's got two packages of all of these little. Um, cardstock uh, roses and this is the these are just gorgeous it's got this with all those I don't know how many are in there and then it has these and envelopes And in here are your um, your actual, you know, cards or whatever. Um, yeah, so uh, I wasn't going to pass this up. Heck no. So I did buy this one, which is, like I said, the Valentine's. See, it's got all your decorate, all your um, decorations, uh, directions on all the different cards you can make. And then I got a Christmas one, a couple. Um, the person did use um, a few things in here to make two cards, but then everything else is here. So I'll show you this. So there's all these different cards you can make. Here's the other side. So 
so it comes with a bunch of these um, pieces, then some of these. Pamela, <laughs> medallions, bows, those little 3D um, square things, self-adhesive. Then there's all kinds of pieces in here. And then you have your envelopes and these are your actual um, cards. And these you can use to put inside the cards. So this is a nice set as well. I was, I, these are, I love uh, finding crafting items. So this is a nice set too, guys. So there's those. Put this back in here. All right. Okay. Uh, the last two items that I got is this old flag. Um, this would be hung on um, uh, one of the flagpoles that you could uh, raise up and down. Or if you wanted to, you could hang it, um, you know, on your front porch. Just hang it like that. It's in beautiful condition. Look at beautiful condition. There's no tears, no holes. I love it. I absolutely love it. So I got that. Make sure I don't touch the ground with it. And I got this beautiful blanket for my son's bed. It's one of those real soft, um, I think they might call it Velux. No, it's not. I don't know what it is, but um, he can use this in the wintertime on his bed. And it's quite large and it's in perfect condition. So I got that for him for winter. And I forgot, I got this too. I got just this window shear uh, for crafting. Um, I wanted to use it to make like bows and stuff like that. So I got that for crafting. I got an itchy nose. A sip of my cold coffee. Okay, and then I got myself some capris. Um, stretchy ones. I got a pair of black ones. I got black and gray. A pair of dark gray. And a pair of white ones. And that's it, guys. That was everything. Let me know what y'all think in the comments section below. Um, I thought I got some some really nice items uh, at the Salvation Army. I was uh, I was pretty happy with that trip. So, guys, that's gonna do it for this thrift haul video. 
If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're not already a subscriber to my channel, please consider becoming a, a subscriber. And also leave me a comment below. And most importantly, share my video with people you know that enjoy uh, thrifting videos. Um, I do a lot of different things on here. So um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone and I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now.